In this video we're going to look at sounds, selecting them and making slight alterations to them as well. Now when you buy the EWI, I think uh, there are a hundred slots to save uh, sounds in. Um, when you first get the EWI, I think there are only about 60 or 70 sounds and then some of them are actually repeated, but those are quite good to play around with. I'll show you how we might do that in a little while. Now then, when you want to select a sound on the EWI, there's a rather strange process, I think. The, uh, the sound selection button, if you like, the program button, is actually this silver screw on the top of the upper thumb plate here. You press that down and as you hold that in you should get your screen to light up and you can see at the moment I'm selected on sound number one, hopefully you can see that, and as I use the up and down keys, those plastic keys we looked at in, a, in an earlier lesson, you can select the sounds going upwards and back down again. Now a couple of things about the sounds you have to practice each sound, almost like an individual instrument, to get the very best from it. Practice different attack with your breath, faster attack or a slower attack. And practice controlling the air from softer to louder and see what you get, because sometimes you get some different sounds when you blow harder and blow softer. They're not just the same sound getting louder in some cases. The other thing is, in certain sounds, lower registers will sound better than high registers and, and vice versa. So have a good experiment with each sound. Now I wanted just to quickly show you what I think is a really important little enhancement to the sound. If I select on, on, on my instrument the way I've got it set, this sound number two. Now if you just listen to this sound sound and you've got some control over dynamics there. It's a little dry and perhaps a little lacking in atmosphere. Now then, you have a key down here below the lowest thumb rest which has the letters FX on it. Now this is where you can select the amount of reverb or delay. So that means how ambient the sound is, if it sounds like it's in a bigger room or a smaller carpeted room. And also the delay is an effect where it sounds like the sound is being echoed just slightly behind you. It can be very effective. So what I want to do is try and get some more atmosphere to this sound by putting in maybe some reverb and some delay. I'm going to press and hold the effects button down here. Now when you first select this, uh, a number will light up and it's actually the first setting for the overall setting of the instrument for reverb. I want you to leave that in place just for a moment because what we want to do is adjust the setting for just this one particular sound. I'm pressing and holding the effects button, now I'm pressing the setup button and as I press that it says RB for reverb. Let it go. Now the number zero, 00 comes up. Now I want this to be quite a reverberant sound so I'm going to use my up and down key on the right hand side and I'm going to put it way up. It goes up to about number 30. I'm going to put it up to number 28. Now I've kept hold of that effects button all the time and now I'm going to release it and press the setup button again. Now let's have a listen to see if we've made a change. Now I've got a little bit of reverb going on there. It sounds a lot nicer to me straight away. Now what about the delay? Well the same thing. Press the effects, press the setup and this time hold the setup whilst it says RB, reverb, and now click this right hand upper side key to get DL, delay. Now I'm going to let go of the setup button. I'm on zero, zero. I'm going to push that up by selecting the right hand side key again, the up button. I'm going to make that go to about say a number 10. 
Now I can let go of the effects button, press the setup button, the setting's done. Now I think I've really enhanced the sound because I've got reverb and that little delay it sounds like the sound is being copied just after you've played it. Now I think that sound sounds much better with just those couple of improvements, the reverb and the delay. In later lessons I would love to show you downloading and updating the sounds that are on the, the Iwi that you purchased. There are some much better sounds out there that you can download and install onto the instrument and also sounds that you can use from within your computer. Hope you enjoy advancing your sounds and uh, enjoy playing the Iwi. See you next time. <laughs>